When 50,000 people descend on Chicago for the Democratic National Convention, organizers will have some recommendations. They've put together a list of vendors that includes businesses well beyond the loop and in all corners of the city. Business owners on the list are hoping for a boost ahead of the convention. CBS 2's Noel Brennan sat down with two of them this afternoon. Most of all, we're place for the community. Any business, new or old. Long-standing restaurant in the city of Chicago. Just wants to get noticed. This is our dining area. Whether it's a new cafe yeah, in South Shore or a vegan staple in Chatham. We are part of the city of Chicago. Some people refer to us as the miracle on 79th Street. Dwan Martin kind of opened Urban Lux me. Cafe two weeks ago. We're a place that does not exist around here where the community can come together and convene. Over in Chatham. And you feel home away from home. Arel Israel and his family created community space decades ago at Soul Veg City. I wanted to bring the people here to this location so that they can see what a community business actually look like and feel like in the community. Both businesses are getting a nod from organizers of the Democratic National Convention. We invited them in and they actually had their first meeting here yesterday with us. Urban Lux Cafe hosted the Chicago Host Committee Thursday. Right in this very room. The same day the DNC unveiled a list of vendors available to delegates before, during, and after the convention. And they said that they found me on the vendors list. The DNC compiled a list of more than 1,700 businesses and venues across the city. They say more than 70% identified as diverse. We are diverse. Chicago is extremely diverse, you know, so we can get a representation of every area. Urban Lux Cafe and Soul Veg City are on the list and hoping to get noticed. I want to be able to host some of the events here at this current location. I'm hoping for more business, of course, and more opportunities like that. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News.